Now I'm going to be doing a Tunisian knit stitch. An all over repeat of the knit stitch will produce a stockinette look, looking project. The back will be different, but the front side of your work will look exactly like hand knit stockinette. If you're unfamiliar with hand knit stockinette, you can probably look at any of your purchased socks or t-shirts and look closely and you'll be able to see the loops, how they join together, they're interlocking throughout. And it will look like this. First, skip your first vertical bar, insert your hook. Now what you're going to do here is, there's this is a front bar, you've already worked into that, and this is the back bar, you've already worked into that they form an upside down U, which I like to call a rainbow. You insert your hook in between the front and back vertical bars there. Go under the rainbow to pick up your loop. Go straight to the back. Now here we have between the rainbows. You don't want to go between the rainbows, that's a completely different stitch. What you want to do is go in between these two bars so go under the rainbow there, pull up a loop. Now front and back, pull up a loop. With Tunisian knit stitch, it's always a good idea to pull your yarn a little high up here. You don't want to pull your stitch through and have it just your hook be right here in front. Pull it up, just pull it up, up high so that you can get into that stitch later on. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up the loop. Now again, and we're going to do 10 of these. Pull up a loop, and pull up a loop, again. Remember to pull that stitch up high, don't just let it sit here in the front. Letting it sit here in the front makes it so that you cannot stitch into it later and it will produce more curling. Tunisian knit stitch is really awful for curling. Boy, it does. It curls awfully bad. All right, now we're down at the last stitch. and I'm going to go ahead and just work so that there are two on the outside here because we want to make sure that there's stability there. But with a Tunisian knit stitch, you probably would do that anyway. So now we're going to close those bars. Chain one. Those loops are going to get closed. That's the first one closed. Now yarn over and pull through two. One, two. And pull through two all the way across. It's just that first one that is different. You just chain one for the, to close the first one. And we're going to pull through two all the way across. And then we'll have one loop on our hook. Pull through two. Whoops. Go back a little. And pull through two. And we have one loop remaining on our hook. And that's the Tunisian knit stitch.